Oh, hello everybody. We're back uh, with the Schumann. And so far I brought you to a place where you've learned how to play the notes correctly and how to practice correctly. But the end result is choppy and sounds like this. As a result, it sounds a little jagged, and we'd like to smooth things out. So we do that with the sustain pedal on the right, the right pedal on the piano, and we get a result that sounds like this. which is a great improvement over the latter performance. Now, I'm really hesitant about recommending using this right pedal because it can mask so many deficiencies while you're trying to learn to play the piano. And you end up not playing the piano, but what I call playing the pedal. And using the right pedal, or the sustain pedal can become an addiction because everything just sounds so pleasant. You don't have to play correctly. You can take your hands off the instrument at any time. And consequently, the fingers aren't always doing their job, which is to go up and down, to play exactly in time, synchronized with other fingers, and all of this is masked by this pedal on the right. And to further complicate the matter, if you're studying with a piano teacher, the piano teacher usually wants you to play in a recital. So when you go to your lesson, you can't play that well, and very often this is what happened to me throughout my entire life. You go to your piano lesson and they go, look, just make circles with your wrists. It's easy, see? So as a result, you go home and you want to prepare for the recital and you've just been told, well, make circles with your wrist or whatever. It could be anything. It could be uh, energy traveling down from your shoulder to your hand, any crazy thing. So you go home and you spend all your time trying to play it up to speed and you can't really do it. It feels so uncomfortable because certain fingers don't work. So what you do is you put down that sustain pedal and suddenly everything's okay. And probably the most powerful force leading you to use the sustain pedal is the desire to just sit down and play and have a good time. I mean, you're taking lessons, you've been doing this for years, and sometimes, you know, you get home from work and you just want to sit down and play and, and have a great time. So to show you what an incredible mask this sustain pedal can be, I'm going to demonstrate playing the opening eight bars of the Schumann just using my index finger in the right hand for everything. Um, so our goal in using this pedal with this piece is to use it sparingly and carefully. Um, and we're going to use the terms uh, dirty and clean. So when we're not, when the pedal isn't down, we'll call that clean playing. When the pedal's down, it's dirty 
okay? So I want you to first just listen to the dirty version. I put the pedal down and... And what happens is all of the strings are resonating right from the beginning. And the clarity of that opening note, that melody note is being competed with by all of these other sounds that are resonating. Now listen to the difference if I don't pedal and I pedal right here now. See the difference? Here's dirty. Here's with clean then dirty. See the difference? So what exactly am I doing? Well, pushing these notes down and everything's very clean. And by the second note, that's where you're gonna pedal. But you wanna hear this nice and clean and it wants and you want it to come through that way. And then you pedal, and clean, pedal, clean, pedal, clean, pedal. See what I'm doing? So it looks like I'm pedaling on this second uh, note of the triplet each time. I could also use the terminology of up and down for the pedal rather than clean and dirty. And this is what you would have. You're up, down, up, down, up, down. important to practice up <laughs> so it, it's like driving a clutch on a car you know where you the car goes forward if you pull the clutch back and it's, it's kind of a strange thing so you're going down with these fingers but your pedal is coming up so up down up with the pedal up down up, down, up, down. And again, do this very slowly so that you can hear the clarity of not having the pedal down, followed by the dirtiness. And that's where this finger legato comes in with the right hand. If you didn't have that, we wouldn't be able to get this specific clarity that we're looking for. If doing this with both hands is a little tricky for you, and it probably will be, I'd recommend just doing the right hand alone. And if you're counting one, two, three, one, two, for each triplet, so actually one, two, three, four, five, six, but let's just do one, two, three, we'd have this. The pedal's up on one, two, the pedal's down, and then three. So if I'm counting, it's one, two, three, one, two, three. Or I'm gonna replace the word down uh, the, the word two with the word down. So we have one down three, one down three. And on one, you're always up. So it's up, down, three, up, down, three, up, down, three, up, down, three. And you want to be very careful when you play the new up that the pedal is totally clear, that you're just hearing this pure single note. That's why you, you have to up, you have to come up there, then down, three, up, down, three, up, down, three, up, and there, down, the pedal's down, and I'm just playing through that, and then clearing it on this D. Listen again, one, two, three. Okay. 
So I guess that's all for now, and we'll see you next time when we continue on with the Schumann.